not try to make out with the dancers. Do not slap the girls' asses. Do not pull our hair. Don't kiss me anywhere. I don't want to be kissed. Don't slap my butt really, really hard. Don't get a huge boner and rub it up on me constantly. Bro, there's a lot of rules in this strip club that I never knew was an actual thing. Is this, is this, I never been to a, is this a thing in strip clubs? Yeah, don't slap their ass. You don't kiss them. You don't rub your boner up against them. You don't get a boner, it seems like. It's like, the fuck am I throwing money at you for? What is the difference between you and porn? How to treat strippers. According to strippers. I never knew there was a specific way to treat strippers. We're dancers, so we expect tips in like all aspects. Uh... I like how they just call themselves dancers. Like, bitch, you ain't no goddamn dancer. You're a stripper. You're meant to take your clothes off. You're meant to go to the back and make that booty clap. We're dancers and we spec tips and all aspects. Like, what? Want me to tip you because you're breathing? Bitch, you gotta have to do some shit for this tip. The fuck? I don't just go out to Red Lobster and all the waiter fucking sucked ass like bringing my food. Man had an attitude the whole time. Couldn't ask the man for extra biscuits. Man, get the fuck out of here. He ain't getting no damn tip. Bruh, you better get that attitude under control. You better bring my goddamn biscuits. And bitch, you better strip and let me slap that damn ass. <sighs> Nikki, I get it. I don't know how old you are. You look like you shouldn't be going, but it looks like you're still trying to get through college. Seems like this is your last semester. You're just trying to get the fuck out of here. Without some nigga pulling out their phones, like, yo, yo, I remember you in the last semester, hey, Nikki. I know you're just trying to do good, trying to be a good girl. You just fall on some hard times in college. But fuck, man, it's like saying you a prostitute, but you don't want to get fucked. It's like, bitch, pick a new profession. Go get another job. Work at Hooters or some shit. I mean, it's like that one Dave Chappelle shit. It's like, just because I dress like a whore doesn't mean I am one. Bitch, the fuck you in the same place as the rest of them then? After a little bit of time. If you're not gonna tip and you're gonna sit near the stage, just walk away and go mingle somewhere else or have a drink or something like that because if you're sitting at the stage, we expect you to tip us. Bitch, don't tell me where the fuck I can and can't sit. Man, I swear, some stripper walked over to me saying, so you're not tipping, you're gonna have to go sit somewhere else. But I will pull out that black car so fast. You racist! I walked into this establishment thinking I was gonna get a show. I didn't know I walked into a clan meeting. If you give me a little extra tip, I might even give you, you know, a little extra fun. What is the definition of little extra fun to these bitches? Oh, you can do my taxes while I sit in your lap? Yeah, that's definitely worth the eight dollars and ones that I'm about to hand you. And I'm guessing she's gonna give me an attitude whenever I throw up um, eight dollars and nothing else because bitch, that's all you getting out of me. I ain't about to sit here and do your taxes for free. You know what, fuck, get my $8 back. You about to have to pay me. Bro, I ain't feel none of that, bro. Bro, you got to put some soul into it when you dip a low like that. I'm like, you got to do something to it. You got to do a split, son. You got to get on the pole. You got to do a little twirl, because, bitch, I don't know if that's your nightly move or not, but if that is your signature move, like you in the WWE, bitch, you will get booed right off a of stage. I don't know what kind of strip club this is, but goddamn, is this the worst one I've ever seen. I don't even get the point of them even putting the thumbprint there. Ain't no one touching these bitches the way they be talking. Like, bro, I don't even want to even look at you because I just may get hit with a sexual harassment lawsuit. Well, hell, man, even worse, get hit with a Me Too. Bro, that's like the end of everything. You get hit with one of them shits, bro. You can't even go back to work. Man, you ain't even going to get fired because of the Me Too. You're going to get fired because them bitches going to be protesting outside your job all damn day. Only reason why they can't protest at your job all damn day is because they be starting the night shifts at the club. I think um, the best way to figure that out is to ask the person who's giving you a lap dance if is it all right if I touch you here or there and the girl will let you know what she's comfortable with. Bro, you would have to be the most nervous, nerdiest person ever. Like first time even seeing a girl. If you're in a strip club and you're just sitting there like, can, 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 can I can I touch your butt? 
It's like, bro, I better be able to touch you the fuck am I paying you for? If you say no, I'm automatically get the fuck off of me. Get my money back. I want a goddamn refund. Because this is some goddamn bullshit. That these bitches trying to say, oh, yeah, we're dancers. Bitch, I ain't come to see you dance. Came to grab some ass. Not every girl wants to be touched. Not some girls don't want to be touched at all. But on stage... It sounds like some girls don't want to get tipped at all. That's what it sounds like to me. You shouldn't touch any girl at all whatsoever. Bro, I ain't know strip clubs are free now. Can't touch, can't pay. Man, strip clubs are like museums now because why the fuck would I pay for something I can see online for free? Females make me nervous. <laughs> Girls tend to feel because you are a girl, they can be really handsy with you. And yeah, they like to get all slobbery and stuff. It's <laughs> Ooh, why y'all niggas slobbering over each other? Yo, you out here talking about I can't slap your ass, but you gonna let this bitch drool on you? You disgusting. <laughs> you know the sound they be making? You know you give them girls a lap dance? Usually a fun time. <laughs> to some people, getting spit all over you is disgusting, but to this bitch, it seems like this is just a casual Thursday night. Like, I do this every day. <laughs> Yo to the fun part fetishes because that's where you go you go to the strip club for your fetishes bro i swear if i ever go into a strip club and i see a nigga sucking on some bitch's feet i'm turning my happy ass around because that's not where i want to be always approach a girl about something first before you just go and you know take her shoe off and smell her foot <laughs> yo I, I gotta agree with that shit bro i can't i i gotta agree with that yo bro if i bro i'd be creeped out myself man you know, like you're paying for a lap dance you know may want to smack her at, you know you do the society standards all right strip clubs you do the society standards you're allowed to touch you're allowed to grab you're allowed to slap but you ain't allowed to just take some bitch foot and start licking all over that shit. Cause at that point, bruh, and strippers like public toilets. You do a lot of dirty things in there, but at least leave it clean, bro, for the next nigga. I ain't trying to have this bitch wet foot from your slobber all up on me. And that's straight disrespectful to the next man, not even her. My found a lot of people like fetishes working at the clubs. There's been a number of people that like to smell armpits. Not exactly my thing, but hey, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> hey man, I think I can get down with that. Smelling armpits? Yo bro, I can, I can definitely get down with that. Smelling armpits, bro. Unless you out here musty. Women, imagine this. You haven't, you know, you sucking this man's dick, you know, you stroking it. Then you all up on him, you know, you rubbing his abs and shit. And then he takes your arm and lifts it up into the air. And then he just sniffs your armpit and he just nuts all over the place. Bro, that would be the funniest shit ever if that shit happened. Bro, like, I don't know how I would feel if that just happened. If I'm like a stripper and this man just lifts up my arm and just starts smelling my armpit. I don't know how I would feel. It's like, he isn't really hurting you. He's not really harming you. But you're just, it's not really like making a mess. This man is just sniffing your armpit. I'm like, oh, what would you do in that situation? I guess you're just stuck at that point. It's like, fuck. Should I let him finish? <laughs> Give me an extra $20. I'll do it. That's how things go. You like something? You ask for it, and most likely we'll give it to you if it's not outrageous. Fair. Fair. But I shouldn't have to ask the touch. People can be really nasty. I've heard guys call girls like overweight or say you're not pretty. Man, now you're trying to tell you the truth. Yo, you want extra tips? Lose that extra weight. Say, you know, oh, you're not the right color, or you're not good enough for me, or I don't like your personality, or I don't like this about you, don't- Bitch, right now, I don't like your personality either. And to all them niggas saying you ain't the right color, it doesn't matter the color, man. No, no racism out here, it doesn't matter the color. Shouldn't matter the color, just as long as that ass looking fat, them titties nice and big, and she doing her job. Shouldn't matter the color, man. Bro, you could take the most racist nigga ever to a black strip club where them asses are fat and them titties are big and they are just out and everywhere. That man will be in love with a black woman that night. That man be singing, I'm in love with a stripper. Not the right color. It don't have to be the right color. 
or I don't like your personality or I don't like this about you. Don't pick out things and say to the girl why you don't want to dance with her. Just tell her nicely that you don't want to dance with her. Bitch, I'm trying to improve you as a dancer. You ain't the right color. I get that one. But if I don't like your personality, if you a bitch, I'ma tell you a bitch. If you overweight, I'ma tell you that your ass is fat. Not in a good way. If you look weird, I'ma tell you, I don't want no weird bitches. If one titty hanging lower than the other, yo, get that shit out of my face. I ain't trying to see that. If your ass is flat, your ass is flat. It's a goddamn pancake, bitch. I've had guys climax when I've given them lap dances. As long as you're not wearing the sweatpants and I don't feel you're just seeping through your pants, I'm okay with that. This goes back to the community toilet thing. Keep it clean, bro. You can disrespect it all you want, but keep it clean. Cause someone else gotta use that. When you're crumpling dollars and you're hucking them at girls, you're being disrespectful. Fuck that. Fuck that. Disrespectful bitch, I'm paying your damn bills. How about you go out and get a real job then? Since I'm being disrespectful. How the fuck you won't tell me how I'm gonna give you money? It's like a bum walking up to you asking for money and you just throw fucking ones at him. It's disrespectful, but bitch, that shit is fun as fuck. Stripper darts. Sometimes it's a fun game if the girl's okay with it, but I had somebody uh, take a quarter in a dollar bill and roll it up and put lip gloss on it and throw it at my butt. If you're doing that, I wonder who raised you. <laughs> what who raised me? Bitch, who raised you? Why are you in the strip club? Since you such a good girl.